This is a quick video over finding the frequency of a given wave length. So let's say we have light, and light is just a wave. Some people think of it as a particle, it's a duality thing, but for the most part we're going to think of it as a wave. And when we're told the wavelength, what we're being told is the distance between either the tops or the bottoms of the waves. So let's say for our example, the distance is 5.5 .5 times 10 to the negative seventh meters. So that's how far apart the bottoms of this wave is. And what we call that is the wavelength. Wave length. And it has a special symbol. And in our case, that is lambda. So lambda is the wavelength. Now we're going to assume, assume this, whoops, this is a vacuum. We're going to assume we're in a vacuum. So when I ask you to find the frequency, and basically what, what is the frequency? What am I asking for when I'm asking for the frequency? What is frequency? Frequency. What is that? Well, basically, it's the number of tops that pass through an area over time. So let's assume that this is traveling that way. So how many tops are going to go through this area? Remember, this wave is just going, it's just moving along like this. So this is like after a billionth of a second or something. It's a scoot over and it's just going to keep repeating itself. We're just going to keep moving that way. How many of these tops are going to pass through this area, this line, per second. Well to find that we need to find out how fast is light moving. Well we know the speed of light in a vacuum is equal to 3 times 10 to the 8th meters per second. We're not being too precise but overall it's 3 times 10 to the 8th meters per second for a given time. So if we know the speed, how, how fast this light is moving through and we know the wavelength, how wide each wave is, then we can find out how many of these tops are moving through. Because for every 5.5 .5 times 10 to the negative 7 meters, we have one wavelength passing through this area. When we multiply it, or not multiply it, when we um, take the the speed of this wavelength and divide it by the, or when we take the speed of the light and divide it by its wavelength, right? Because we know how wide this is, and we know how many meters of this wavelength are going through. So if we know how many of these individual units are in a meter, then all we have to do is calculate, is take this, the speed of light, which is usually written as c, and divide it by lambda to get the frequency. So what we get is the frequency, which is um, uh, nu, nu is equal to the speed of light divided by lambda. So what is that? That's 3 times, whoops, I did c, 3 times 10 to the 8th meters per second divided by 5.5 .5 times 10 to the negative 7 meters. All right, so let's plug that into a calculator. So what do we get? We get 3 times 10 to the power of 8. And this is all divided by 5.5 .5 times 10 to the power of a negative, a negative uh, 7, right? Yes. Alright, so what do we get? We get a lot of 5s and 4s. So we get, that's a 1,000, so that's 3, 6, 9, um, 12, 13, 14. So 5.45 times 10 to the 14th, 10 to the 14th per second. And that is the frequency of th this particular wave.